Oh. Hi, peace and curls. It is Melissa Q. Yes, we are back with another video, and y'all know it's time for the game of tones. Yes, first of all, let's do the preliminaries. If you're new, welcome. And if you were an OG, you already know the deal. You know how it works with game of tones, but if you are new, go ahead and hit the subscribe button. I can wait. I can wait. Mm -mm -mm. You're going to love this. We are Project Panning. We are doing Game of Tones. We are saving some money. And in, uh, I'm just going to give y'all a little hint since y'all are on me on a Sunday. Y'all with me on a Sunday. On Tuesday, we are saving some more money. And you guys, it is an amazing giveaway. Just a hint. Just a hint. If you are following me on Snapchat or Twitter, yes, the Tweeple. No, and so does my Snapchatigans. We know what's going on, but if you are not tuned in, definitely link up with me. Hook up with me. Let's chat. Let's be social media friends. Yes, let's I don't know if this is episode four or episode five. Y'all, have y'all been following it? I have a playlist anyway. Game of Tones is the game that we are playing with our makeup because there are so many upcoming products that I want to try, I want to buy, but I can't, okay? Because we are saving $10,000. So this is, here's the deal, here's the deal. If I can dupe it in my collection, and when I say dupe, if I can find something like it, if I can play off the looks, because most of the time, let's be real, most of the time we love a product because of the look that we've seen, either somebody rock or we've seen it, and we don't even look in our collection and see if we already have it so the deal is if i can dupe it hence the reason why we say can i dupe it then i will bank the money and put it in my savings if i can't then then we think about the thought process if i really want the product so let's just jump right into this video because this is a good one y'all I know the other ones, all of them are good, but this one's a really good one because it's controversial, okay? And we like to bring it to you like the news. If it's controversial, not drama. Mm. Although there's some drama in there, but we 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 not about the drama. But we do like to discuss. Let's discuss what's been going on. Okay, so the beauty community is going cray cray over the subculture palette by Anastasia. Y'all should have known that we were going to talk about that. But we're also going to talk about another launch that they have been, like, people have been really loving. And that is the Blush Trio. So let's get out of the way the subculture because that's what y'all really want to hear about, right? So this palette retails for $42. There are 11 matte shades and there are three metallic, two being dual chrome and I believe one being like a major like a really good metallic and I've been seeing a lot of swatches a lot of looks and it looks are really really pretty they're beautiful now the whole issue is like about the fallout the kick up I've seen some of my shadows that kind of are similar but I really don't have anything in my collection that's like it but let's just talk about some of the ones that I think I could get some looks from now I do know that it hit stores August the 15th in stores. I actually went to Macy's to try to just swatch it and it wasn't there. They said it'll be there on the 15th. So I am going to swatch it myself. Y'all, people can give reviews all day long, but I want to see for myself. I want to swatch it. I want to feel it. I want to touch it. Okay. But I did see a couple of looks and I did see quite a few of the same type of colors in the Jaclyn Hill palette. For instance, this shade right here, which is Cream Sickle, I've seen in that Jaclyn, uh, in the Subculture palette. I've seen this shade, which is called Enchanted. No, yes, Enchanted. This shade right here, a lot of people are using this on their, uh, on their eyes. This shade is a lot like Adorn to me, which that one is Queen. So this this palette, I feel like I can kind of get some of the same looks. Even that shade, there's a peachy shade that kind of reminds me of a mix between these two right here called, is that the Roxy? No, Roxy is something, it's a little bit more peachier, but a lot of people like that color. Nine times out of 10, I can find a color, I've seen some colors out of this palette. And, the subculture palette is a mix between 
cool and warm the way Nor Norvina was talking about it. This one actually reminds me of Roxy and this shade is Big Cocktails in the Yes Please palette which I have which is also a dupe to the I feel like the Natasha Denona. So just think that I'm telling you these are a lot of repeats. I think I can get some looks from my Jaclyn Hill palette that I've seen from the Subculture palette but honestly it is I feel like it's a one of a kind palette. A lot of people are talking about that it's ugly. I think it's the placement of the shadows in the palette but I didn't say think it was ugly. I thought you know, it was the opposite of the modern renaissance, actually. And when I heard Norvina talk about this is the sister, this is kind of like the dark night of the modern renaissance. Modern renaissance is more romantic. This one is like dark grunge. That's how I would describe it. And that's how I kind of heard, um, not in, in so many words, that's what Norvina was saying when she said it was a sister. It wasn't that it was like they were twins. It was that they were kind of like opposites of the spectrum but they were still somewhat alike because this one was more romantic. This one was grunge. And I really do believe that the subculture palette is going to cater to more makeup artistry that is more grungy looking, more edgy looking. Modern Renaissance is that soft every day. The subculture palette, I'm probably going to pick up because number one, I can, I feel like I can, I can get it. But I do see some very unique shades. And that's the thing that we love about Anastasia. She comes with some very, um, Norvina and the team over there comes with very innovative items. Even the Modern Renaissance, I feel like before I had it, I still feel like it's something in my collection that I really didn't have before. And the Master by Mario palette. That is by far the my favorite palette of all my palettes. Is messed by Mario and if I would have listened to social media how they were like it's blah is it, it did it does not look appealing but when you put those things on your eyes that's all I have to say I I'm not going to say that I'm going to love it I'm not gonna say that I think I'm going to hate it I'm gonna do what I did when it was a master by Mario palette when it hit Macy's I went in I tried it for like three days straight went in with a bare face played with the shadows and then made my decision and it was the best decision that I made so that's what I feel about that. So let's move on to a more interesting one that I feel like this one might be identical. So we are not going to take that $42 from the self culture because I don't know yet. And I feel like I can emulate some looks, but not really like the, the Natasha Denona. And because this one actually has some very eccentric shades, I'm thinking about the self culture, but Let's go to, and I have, if you see me looking down, I'm, you, I'm on my um, MacBook. Now, the trios retail for $30, and they actually have, I think, four different palettes. Not four, six. Do they have six? Let's see. They actually have five palettes. Pool Party, Berry Adore, Peachy Love, Pink Passion, and Cocktail Party. Now, you're going to see some pictures of me and Macy's actually trying these, watching these. I love the creaminess of them. The pigmentation is amazing. But y'all, I have something that's way too close to this. Not to show, not to mention. These Eve Pearl palettes, you've probably seen these in a, in a haul. Like I got these maybe about a year, year and a half ago. These are so similar, y'all. This one right here reminds me so much of the is it the barrier door okay and these are very very pigmented itself and these are actually a bit deeper but i also like these i take these traveling with me i actually love these look how pigmented this is from eve pearl okay dipping in once they are super pigmented and I just, I love this. I love these. And I got these from Namie's. They were on sale for like $4. It was something that I had not seen before. But like I said, makeup can be repeats. I do see some shades in here that I don't have in a trio. But these, I, I actually really like singles, to be honest with you. The difference is that these blush trios are a bit smaller and... They're called blush trios, just like the blush trio by Anastasia. Now, this one right here reminds me of... This one reminds me of Cocktail Party. 
And so these are super pigmented, y'all. Not powdery at all. I love how creamy these are. Now, I will say the Anastasia are a bit creamier, but it's not something that I can't live. I can't, it's not like I can't live without those. I do see one that if I got it, the Peachy Love is like right up my alley. But honestly, I have Peachy Love. I have other shades like Peachy Love in my collection. So I can pass on, I can pass on the Anastasia Blush Trios. So I am going to bank not $30, but $60 just because I have two of these. I'm going to go ahead and pay myself $60 in the game of tones because these I feel like are dupes to the Anastasia Blush Trio. And Eve Pearl came out with these maybe about two or three years ago. And I think you can still pick these up. So I'm not really missing out on the Anastasia Blush Trio's subculture palette. We're going to see, but yeah. That's what I think. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Don't forget to give it a thumbs up. Let me know what your favorite Game of Thrones character is. Mine is Tyrion and Daenerys. Daenerys, I think I say her name. Y'all know Khaleesi. Yes, love her. Um, Cersei gets on my last nerves. I'm glad that somebody took care of Joffrey. And um, Arya, she, she, she a bit dark, okay? I will say that Game of Thrones has my mouth open all the time. All the time. It's like, did that just happen? Did, hold on, let me rewind. Did that just happen? It has you in that like third octave. Did that just happen? So I hope you guys enjoyed this. Comment down below if you are picking up the subculture. If you are not, let me know what your thoughts are. We are saving some money, but we are being realistic. I want to talk about and have discussions on my channel about these type of things because I feel like it's important to know where you, what you're putting your money on. You know, of course these are not necessities, but listen, you know, we love makeup and this is just a makeup discussion. Nothing serious, not too serious, you know, but it's important that we save our money and we know on purpose what we're getting and why we're getting it. Uh, that's all I'm saying. So I hope you guys enjoyed this. Don't forget to give a thumbs up. This let always lets me know what you guys love to see. And I will see beautiful you in the next video. Bye, lovies. Oh, yeah. And by the way, you can go ahead and click on one of these. Yes, we have our Game of Tones playlist. You can check out the other episodes that I have available. And you can also check out any of the Let's Save 10K series that I have going on. So I hope you guys check those out. And I will see you in the next video. Bye, lovies.